Hello everyone, welcome to the Ty Cool channel. I'm shooting this video outdoors because it's finally uh, the weather lightened up a little bit so I can enjoy some sunlight and get some nice cool air. But the topic of this video is to cover this product I picked up at my local Walmart. It's a jewelry polishing cloth. This particular cloth is for silver only. They have a silver cloth and a gold cloth. Uh, don't ask me what the difference would be from one cloth to the next as far as polishing um, the different metals, gold or silver or platinum, etc. Um, but the point being, I just bought the silver cloth and I'm going to use it to polish both metals and I have. Uh, it works fine. Um, I, I am aware that gold has unique properties as opposed to silver and vice versa. But I do believe that they're just trying to get you to buy uh, two of their products instead of one. Um, so it's just a jewelry polishing cloth and I believe that e either one would, would suit your needs. Um, so let's take a look at the cloth itself. Um, it's a two-step process to polishing your jewelry or your precious metals. Um, so what you have is, is two separate cloths that are connected in one. Now mine's used, so keep that in mind. You'd have a, a pure white cloth and then this purple tinted pink cloth. Um, so step one is to wipe with this white cloth, the polishing cloth, and then step two is to give it the final the final buff with the buffing cloth. Uh, the product works great. Like I said, I've used it on both gold and silver. Um, and I do stick to uh, low premium, stack for weight, kind of uh, poured silver. I do have some press bars, but I stick to low, low premium um, and stack for weight, uh, currently anyway. Um, so what we have here is um, two Monarch hand poured 10 ounce bars. And I'm outside, so I'm hoping that the, the light will justify the polishing a little bit more. So yeah, we just have two Monarch 10 ounce bars and I'm going to polish one and, and show you how the product works and, and go from there. To give you a, a nice before. Of different ways to do it the wind's not cooperating I sometimes just put it in there and roll it around but yeah if you want to uh, get you a little piece of it and go to town you sure can All my silver gets handled quite a bit um, when it's out of storage. Now, however, this metal has been in uh, my safe deposit box for uh, probably over two years. Um, and we'll talk about that too, that safe deposit box. The way I look at it, um, it's $55 a year. So, you know, uh, 55 bucks a year. Pay it once, you're good for the year. And, and I, I understand, uh, you know, um, shit hits the fan situations where uh, you know the bank's going to be closed you're not going to have access to it and vice versa but look at that finish this is almost gray to me I would describe it as a you know not a mirror finish anyway The back don't tell so much, but I can tell quite a difference from giving it just a you know 30 second wipe down with this product. Big difference, but yeah, I use a safe deposit box because hey, it's a federal crime to rob a bank, it's in the vault, it's locked up in its individual box, they have audio and video surveillance, it's cheap. And you got to play the odds. I'm probably more likely to have my house broken into than than the safe deposit boxes at the bank being being robbed. Um, so you know, I just uh, went that route. 
and it's not for everybody but you know weigh the odds you know depending on each of you guys' uh, thought process and situations but yeah I just wanted to show you this uh, product how I clean my silver up because it does you know oxidize and, and start to tarnish and tone some people love the toning you know toning's not bad um, I just know it, it's always going to tone and I just rather keep it uh, shiny silver for now and uh, show you this product because it's so easy to really keep it looking pristine just wipe it off a little bit and switch over to the, your, uh, your final buffing cloth and go from there but yeah they're uh, polished, they're slippery um, they look great and I do kind of like uh, you know the hand poured bars and these are nice 10 ounces so yeah guys let me know what you think in the comments below as far as your toning or your tarnishing in your stack or if you use a product and uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel leave me a comment hit that like button let's help each other out thanks guys appreciate it Ty Cole I'm done